All right, Holocure, let's check it out. We're playing as Tentacle Lady over here, because why not? The tentacle is huge, and the volume seems loud in my ears. I don't know why. It's probably fine in the recording, but it's, it seems crazy loud in my ears. My headphones only go so far, but we won't talk about that anymore. We'll talk about the game. Um, So we are this... Uh, ooh, hello, upgrades. It's a Vampire Survivor's, like, uh, glow stick. Drop a lava bucket, increase damage on the tentacles. I mean, sure, level up the tentacles, right? And just be the crazy tentacle lady of all time. All right, I have to turn down the, the volume. It's so loud in my ears. I hope it'll be fine for you. It's just, just like this crazy loud music in my headphones. All right, but yeah, so this is a free, it's free, by the way, um, Vampire Survival style game. It's a, it's like a fan game. Um, somebody who, somebody who really likes, uh, VTubers made this, um, and that's what the game is about. Um, reduce attack time between, yes, more tentacle power. But yeah, the game is a Vampire Survivor style game. You go around destroying these things, and you have to go 20 minutes to make it. Wait, hits does it take to clear your path? All right, take some damage there. A little bit of damage there, but we do. There's like the healing's fairly generous in this game. I need more. I need more damage. These skeletons are like, like ridiculously tanky. But we do we get help. Like they're oh chill dudes. Can I get a few of those guys? No, time's been off. We're taking damage here. Do I get health when I defeat you? I'm not aiming right here. Be right here. I think it just gives us. I think it's just giving us love. Like the whole lore is like our fans have gone wild, and we need to like bring them back into the fold of loving us properly or something. I don't know. Um, some weird fan stuff like that. Attack area. Maybe we should do something other than just tentacle We're falling behind on damage already. Uh, throw an axe that spirals outward from the outward from the player. Yes, I will take this. But yeah, it's a keyboard only game. You can rebind the keys, so you know, arrow keys or WC to move around. Uh oh. Um, and or can we like clear a path here? Take some damage? Alright, it's not so bad. I think it's uh er easy early on. You take a little bit of damage, we can heal up and all that good stuff. These guys are they've got a lot of health though. Axe seems to be doing it's alright. Gold there, do you want that? Mmm, glow stick. The void. Um get a glow stick here. I just, I just need I just need more weapons. I need more damage. Right, we're we're like two minutes in, we're already like struggling to beat like the second mob we've encountered. So clearly just going raw tentacle right off the bat at the start is not the way to go. But it's a, it's a, it's like a, it's an homage to VTubers is what the game is. You can play as, like apparently there's, apparently we're playing as different VTubers that really exist. I don't know, I don't really watch VTubers. Gain shield absorbs damage. I think that's probably not a terrible idea, um, but not yet. More tentacle, but more tentacle, but bigger tentacles why they go for the tentacle one first because it's youtube and i need clicks and <laughs> i'm sure i can do something in the thumbnail or the title about tentacles right or maybe not i don't know um face mass increased damage by 30 percent take 30 percent more damage i will take that trade off because my damage is a bit low so we've got a little like a uh, boss here or mini boss here coming in it's a little tankier dude like an, maybe it's just like an elite i don't know I need, like, I need more damage on the Skelly Boys. They're surprisingly tanky, and it's a bit of a problem for us. That must be the Tentacle Queen, who does the Tentacle thing. I need to clear a path here if I can. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Just got out. Of, get out of that. Get out of that mess. What's this? That's all I see. Well, hello, hello there, friends. Um, food will drop close by. It's not a terrible idea to heal. Uh, more axe damage. Uh, for every target that's close by, increase attack by 5%. That's not terrible to get stronger. When targets be the chance to heal, um, let's go for damage. Let's get our damage first. We can heal later. First, we must have damage. We must increase the damage that we deal. And I think these elite drop something when I beat them. I watched somebody else play for a little bit, so I've like watched one run. Um, let's see what we got here. Increase damage. Take more damage. Hmm. Is that just increasing the damage by an extra 5%? Ooh, damage of the tentacle. Yes. Level 5 tentacle, look at that damage increase, is going to be huge. Look at these cute little guys. But it seems like a fun, adorable little game. Also, this, uh, occasionally, like, anvils drop. I'm not sure what dropped the anvil. Was it a regular mob or something? I don't know. Um, so we can, it's just like a free level up on this, or on that, or on this, or on this. Uh, how about, uh, how about, uh, add small knockback on hit to the tentacle? Yes. Um, wait, what's, oh, it costs? Wait, what? I, uh, oh, it costs zero? Press, I, oh, I had to press E twice, and I guess, I guess it costs zero. Summon Tentacle Awakened. Chain another tentacle in a chain at a random direction. Uh, or the ancient one. Summon AO. Every five seconds, AO creates a zone with a 30% chance to convert targets to harmless taco dachis. I don't know what this is. 
I don't know what a taco dachi is. So I don't know what's being converted into what. This is, it's all very confusing. It seems to be these little, little dudes with the ha like the halos. I, I I don't know. I need to get okay. I, I guess like the heart is when they die. They're like converted back to loving you. I don't know why they're they're monsters. I don't I don't fully understand what's going on with this game here. It's my first time playing it, and yeah, it's it's, it's confusing. I guess it's to be that elite, and it gave us this. Um, which I guess it just counts as level up. I don't know. Increase damage, damage, size of axe. Create an area of spider cooking. Create an area of miasma around doing slow damage to enemies inside. I'll take it. Another weapon type. Oh, no, that's a level before we picked it up. Delivery, open. Holo, holo zone? Sure, got some gold there. What are you going to give us? Um, summon tentacle awake. Oh, it awakened my tentacle for us. Okay, it's like, I guess that makes it to level seven. Is that evolved? Chain another tentacle in a chain around direction. We take it. So that, so I guess at levels... The first six levels are normal, and the level seven is like in the awaken. But there's also synergies in the game where you can combine them. At a golden anvil, you can combine them. Are when they're are they friendly? When I turn them into ghosties, are they friendly? Seems like it. So I guess my the thing I'm summoning just randomly turns them into friendly boys, so they still kind of like walk after you. Okay, this game is just all kinds of crazy. It's very interesting. Uh, harmless. I guess these little purple dudes are taco Um, whatever that means. Drop lava on the ground. Um, maybe get some food coming in. Yeah, food drops close by. And can, oh, I guess we are, yeah, there we go. Need to heal up, you know. Can't be playing too spicy dicey here. What's up, are these chickens? They're homing in, I mean, it's wherever they are. We seem to do all right. Oh, we got a little uh, big, is that a taco dachi? I don't know. Um, oh, oh, you guys are really uh, coming at us here. Oh, oh, that's a lot of damage, that's not great. But we got a burger. If I hadn't gotten the burgers, I think we'd be dead right now. Yes, destroy them. Destroy them. The, the smiling, whatever they are. I'm going to call you Takodachis until I know better, right? Until I learn otherwise. The shield might not have been a terrible idea to get, but... Doing okay. More burgers will drop, I'm sure. And it's probably good to farm them before they all disappear like that. It's, I, I wonder what the significance of these like little pickups. The like sideways triangles looking thing. Um, chance to negate one hits. Increase shockwave. Increase damage area. All attack power by 8%. Yes, stat up. So apparently there's four different things you upgrade. You can upgrade your weapons. That's the top the top thing in the uh, top left over there. See my, yeah, like the Mars Cursor is tiny there, but you can top left is weapons, and then below that is items. And then there's stats, and then there's skills and things. What is, I heard the guy seen the video. I saw play this. Just need you guys to chill. I want that burger. Oh man, you guys are, all right, it's getting spicy. Getting hard. I saw that burger drop. I don't want to get into it, but I feel like my DPS is it's falling off. It's that's kind of how it goes these games. It's fine. But, oh, I just, I'm just now realizing that the tentacles are like peering in other random spots. It's actually kind of useful, huh? Just now appreciating the the awakened aspect of it. I can attack the right and he'll attack back to the side. There's some food up there. Ho hollow bomb. Bomb that explodes, dealing damage to ne all nearby uh, targets. But what about BL book? Re uh, repel targets with orbiting BL books. It is a vampire survivors like, you know, fan game. Yeah, hollow live fan game. Or like hollow Ute. VTuber fan thing, whatever. So it's gonna have like some similar things. The like the Bible in uh, Vampire Survivors kind of like floats around you. And this BL book thing seems very similar. But yeah, it just seems like a neat little fun game. Want to try on the channel? What if the green ones are worth more than the blue ones? Probably right. If you guys like it, we can do more of it. Additional book. How about the Hollow Bomb? I'm not sure if the meta here is to get more weapons or to, like pick a few and level them. I don't know. I'm just kind of like going in here basically blind and uh, checking out. Are we? Oh, those are the bombs. We dropped bombs behind us. Body pillow. Probably get that shield might be decent. Yeah, yeah. Gives a shield that refreshes and, you know, because it's not always the easiest to pick up the food. Like the food's around there and it seems fairly plentiful, but you can actually get to it is kind of like the hard part here. I feel like I'm kind of like, I've, I've turned a lot of them into little friendly guys, which is cute. I don't really know. Like we're turning a lot of these guys into friendly guys. Do I get experience for killing the friendly guys? Um, mm, food, more food, more often, more changing, more area of the spider cooking. What's the spider cooking? Is that like the AOE like garlic armor circle around me kind of deal? Is that what the spider cooking is? I, I don't know. Or am I dropping spider cooking around here? And I'm just not really aware of what's going on. I am. There's a lot going on. Um, targets nearby move slower. Uh, so that's a skill. You see right in the right up there. It says skill. Mm, if, if more targets nearby means attacks more, how about BL book? Get the BL book stronger. That'll be fine. These little weird looking bear dogs wearing hats. Ooh, I guess we beat an elite. All healing is doubled. 
Increased damage of the BL book, increased duration. Sure, that sounds fine. And a delivery as well. Open it, see what we get here. Give us the goods, give us the sauce. We got um, body pill level up, so it blocks up to 20 damage, and every 50 seconds it refreshes, which is great. So, as long as you don't take more than 20 damage on every 15 seconds, you're just gonna be right as rain. Seems great. What are these? Are these like little supposed to be like YouTube's like like buttons that we're gathering, or because they're I think the like the the VTubers are they're YouTubers. They're usually both YouTubers and. I don't really watch VTubers, but I have seen, like, the clips on YouTube of them, um, being all cutesy anime thingy. Increased damage on the face mask? Yes. Now, is that, like, extra 35%? Am I going from, like, 30-30 to 35-30, or am I, like, it's, like, it's, like, additive or something? Need you guys to give me a path through here to be great. Alright, that seems fine. And we will just chill around here, and I'm not sure if my damage is good or not. All I know is we're just, we're just chilling and vibing. I think the spider cooking is just kind of like a AoE garlic armor around me. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's that thing that would have above me a second ago there. I don't know. I guess we beat something there that dropped an anvil. I'm not sure what caused the anvils. Are they just like from elites? Are they random? I don't. I think the elites still behind me. Were the, just like a random chance. Like I was angry. That was an angry taco dachi or whatever they are. There goes my shield taking some damage. Need to get this, but there's guys around it, so let's kind of come back for it later, I suppose. Do I need to kill the little ghosty taco? taco guys, or are they just, like, there forever? I don't know. Um, more shields, not terrible. Uh, chance of healing. Um, size of explosion, the bomb? Yeah, get the bomb doing more beautiful bomb things for us. Seems great. I'm not, sh I'm not sure the purple AoE around me is doing any damage. I don't, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the game's chaos, and we're, I'm figuring it out as we go. I need, I need this, uh, anvil over here. Oh, uh, more damage to the spider cooking? Sure. In this anvil. Um, what do we want here? Uh, so we can increase the damage of the tentacle by 20%. Or we can just get a level up of something. Um, maybe we just level up uh, the books? No. We go full tentacles. It costs us 50 coins, I guess. We'll, we'll get it. Yes. It's stronger tentacle power. It's all about the tentacles. They call me Sir Tentacles. Look at these, I have tentacles. Overpower tentacles. Oh, another one, huh? Love up some more. I mean, there's all this stuff we could do, but tentacles, right? Another 20%? Yes. Cost 100 this time. Success rate 90%. It, it can fail? It can fail? Failed. No, it failed. And I, did, I spent all those coins and I got nothing? You're joking. I had a 9 out of 10 chance of succeeding and I failed. That's just tragic. That's a travesty. I could have had a slightly stronger tentacle. Um, area of the spider cooking? Sure. I don't even know what the spider cooking is. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it's the thing that's like in a circle around me. Chill, dudes. Need some room to breathe. All right. Just take it easy. Just trying to come through here. All right. Need you to stop trying to hurt me and cause pain to me. Okay. This is, it's getting bad. It's getting rough. It's fine. I believe. I just gotta believe. Just gotta make it 20 minutes in the run here. Need to like level harder. It'd be good. We're kind of struggling on the DPS. I feel like a lot of my tentacle damage value is going and hitting nothing. Luckily, the one behind, the one, like, I, one attacks forward, the other, like, attacks backwards. That's good. Oh, my God, chill, dudes. Yikes. Need more shield power, huh? You're dead. No. That's fine. I can show you what's in the main menu for upgrades and show you other characters. Stick around. I'm going to show you more stuff. You're going to have a good time. Game over. That's fine. Um, main menu. We gain 124 hollow coins. New unlocks, a credit card cost enhancing groups by 20 cents and animals appear more often, okay? So you go up here, here's the main menu. Um, you go to the uh, the shop here. There's a, you, you do not spend real money. I know you see the word gotcha. You do not spend real money. You spend the money you earn in the game. The game is completely free. You can't spend money on it if you want, as far as I know. So you're spending in-game coins on the gotcha. And you can get a, get a random character. If you get a duplicate, it makes that character 1% uh, stronger on their hit point, attack, and speed, up to 20%, so that's fine. You can, like, just whatever. It's a way to keep spending in-game currency over time. Oh, and there's also a different gotcha menu here. Like, there's the myth-type creatures, whatever, or uh, hollow tubes, whatever. I don't, whatever, I don't know. And then there's, over oh, here is Council plus Project Hope, and it's the same thing. They both have cost 100, or 1,000, rather. And there's also upgrades. Or you can spend some coins to like, okay, spend 200 to get more movement speed, your standard vampire survivor stuff. 
can't afford any because I, I spent my if you spend your coins on the anvils that's coins you can't spend outside so you gotta be careful on your anvil spending I guess um, you can refund everything and there's also the, there's the armory which I guess the armory just shows you different stuff um, hmm so it just shows you all the different stuff we've unlocked we found 17 on 35 but can't afford to get anything so we're gonna go back in we'll do a different character this time we did a tentacle lady let's now let's do a phoenix sword sure yes you um stage there's two different modes there's endless survive as long as you can and there's stage mode we'll try stage mode and get a little sword here Ooh, it's better than i thought I thought by the picture i thought it'd be a little pointy pokey thing that did a sh like a just a tiny little dash in front of me like a little needle but it's actually this huge swath aoe thing which is actually kind of great it's actually super great so i think it's probably gonna be like if you want to upgrade really well you don't want to like like in between runs, you don't want to spend a lot of points on anvil upgrades. You want to get all of the free anvil upgrades, the ones like the first ones that cost zero. Not spend all the coins in the run, then just die like I did. Max hit points, um, increase crit buff ends upon receiving damage. I gain a shield. Uh, just get the let's get the shield out of the way right first. Let's really hoping for some like attack stuff, but that'll be fine, I guess. But yeah, it seems like a neat little fun game. If you enjoy watching it, uh, you know, if everybody enjoys watching, it, I'd be more than happy to have it be a staple on the channel because it feel like there's tons of stuff to do as far as like the roguelite aspect as far as like upgrades and whatnot although it does seem like there might only be one level so far but they're gonna keep adding more hopefully um full meal healing is doubled um increased damage of the sword trailblazer leave a burning fire underneath care whenever she moves that deals 30 percent damage per hit last five seconds yes that seems good well yeah that seems great oh that's oh also the skills i believe are character specific like this trail of fire here, that's a skill. I think only she can get that skill. Um, oh, I see the fire stuff last. I thought it was gonna be like every five seconds. No, the fire is constantly going. It like stays on the ground for five seconds, which is great. Um, so like, you know, the skills got on the last character unique to her. It seems like a really well-made game and I'm surprised it's free. Um, I think maybe it's gonna be one of these things where eventually like they start, I've seen games that like they start off as free and then they eventually like, you know, tr like move it to Steam. Then once they move to Steam, they, you know, make it cost three bucks or whatever. I'd be totally fine with that. Um, right now, it's just an itch.io. Um, deals 50% damage. Honestly, this the trailblazer trail just seems good. What's this? Phoenix Shield uh, skill. If she's not taking damage for 10 seconds, next damage taken is halved and staying vulnerable for half seconds. That's okay. But I think for now, trailblazer, keep the damage up first. Worry about uh, shield stuff later. Keep that fire damage up. Things going to be pretty good. You want to follow me around here? Just walk through fire. You can kind of like just... What if this is gonna be like a good strategy here? And it's like, yeah, oh, look at them burn. Oh, it is a great strategy. I guess the burgers do drop of their own accord a little bit. Do a little attack there and I need a little attack and try and carve our way through without taking too much damage here. Or, oh, I guess they only, I guess they don't go all the way in. They just like decay over time. More damage than the sword would be good. Um, I guess, does she have only her own weak, her own unique weapons? I don't know. Fire a fast piercing tail target at random target. Moving gradually increases damage by 2% every second of buff. Ooh, so as soon as you stop moving, you lose. Um, so you need to constantly move. That seems fine. Um, yeah, so if we keep moving, we get a constant damage buff. So just never stop moving. Although it's, maybe that gets tricky with the... Um, the upper, the uh, I feel like constantly moving is just kind of like the meta for these kind of games anyways, right? So why not? Doing 13, 15. Um, Trailblazer. Uh, yeah, more Trailblazer. Get the get more damage on that. Seems good. Just the ones that fall us around, we burn down to oblivion. I think that sound effect means we got hit a little bit, maybe. Could be wrong. But we must constantly move, which is fine. We are the dancer. We are a beautiful, lovely lady who likes to dance. I'm guessing this uh, VTuber likes to dance. Um, increased damage might be good on that. Yes. Yes, I will get that. Could have gotten the miasma. I think I think the I think it, I think that purple thing around me was the spider cooking. What is this weird? statue looking thing there i don't know but we're just gonna move around and see how we do but yeah this game does well on the channel i'd love to do more because it seems like it seems like there's a lot to it this doesn't seem like some lazy fan-made game of like oh i spent a day on it no it seems like somebody put a lot of work into this and like this is like actually a proper game Ooh, hurt my shield a little bit there but like this is like an actually proper good game that could easily be sort of sold on steam for a couple bucks. Maybe the reason they've made it free is they're worried that the VTubers might not like them using their likenesses or take them to court. I don't know. It seems unlikely. Weapon attack speed might be good. Um, more damage buff as long as I keep moving. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep moving. Keep on schmoving. Keep getting that damage buff. That seems fine. Need to upgrade my sword at some point here, but I think I'm not getting enough 
burn value. Maybe we need to do a little more back and forth. I feel like I need them to move faster so they walk into my fire better. Like they're, I feel like they're barely touching my fire at all. I need you to be walking in my fire, nerds. What's, they're too slow walking in my fire. Burn, just burn. I need you, there we go. Yeah, we just walk back and forth. Um, Let's increase the attack area of the Phoenix Sword. Yes. We good? There's a little something there. Oh, we got some dudes coming around here. I need you to... Oh, chill, chill, chill. Take some damage there. It's fine. That's what the shield's for. Soak some there. Now we're getting some fire damage. A little bit of fire damage there. Look at like those things that pinch you and they only, like, go for so long. I have to constantly move. I can never stop moving. I always lose my damage buff. So we must be uh, constantly moving. I need to get into this. Uh, attack fast around the Phoenix Sword. Yes, please. Yes. All that. I need to get that package, though. need you guys to... Oh, got things coming in here. That's fine. Let's chill. Need you guys to give me access to this. My delivery. My sweet, sweet goodies. Give me something nice. Sugar and spice. We get uh, upgrade to Phoenix Sword so I can hit twice per slash. That's fantastic. So I'm not sure how that works, but it just, I'll just, it just, it just, it just, it just hits him twice. Does it always hit him twice or is it like can hit him twice? I don't know. Uh, what's this? A pump can increase crit, better shield. Um, if I don't take damage for a while, more crit. Um... Get a glow stick up here. Get some more. We only have the one weapon. Having some more would be good. The glow stick goes for a while. Apparently, it can only hit so many times or it'll dissipate. Doesn't just it doesn't just go forever. It can hit like I don't know, like ten times or some random number, and then like breaks. Or if that doesn't happen, it'll just like go off the screen. I don't know. Yes, touch my fire, you stinky nerd. Walk through my fire, you fool. Burn, burn, you silly nerd. Be roasted, toasted. Oh, just get wrecked. Give me this. Um, spider cooking. I think that is kind of like the AOE thing around us. Let's get spider cooking. Yes, it is. It is. Spider cooking is just kind of like garlic armor from Vampire Survivors. If you ever played that, it's just like this damaging AOE circle around you. I, I do want to like get as much of these guys killed as possible for sweet, sweet loots and goodies. I think it's going to be good. Always moving. Never stop moving. Even if, you know, moving will help you aim your sword better. We get the buff. Uh, area of the spider cooking. No, damage on the sword. Damage on the sword. We must be the sword lady. The sword wielding phenomenon. That is wherever the heck your name is. I've already forgotten. Don't worry about it. Um, delivery, we take. We got. We get. Sweet, sweet goodies are. Uh, spider cooking, increased area. So the the things just these give you like a it's the equivalent of like a level up of the what you get is randomized based on what you have. Ouch, let's just try out. Okay, let's just take all the damage. Take all the pain, all the damage. That's, that's just fine. That's just what our life is. Um, Psycho Axe did not blow my mind. I could do more uh, Dancer. Yes. Even more increased critical hits. Yes. Yes. More um, damage buff from being the graceful, agile beauty that I am. I am a delicate dancing lady. And don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. The burner's doing great work for us. A little burger there to heal us up. Fantastic. Keep it moving. Never stop moving. Always moving. Um, pick up range, it's not terrible. Increased damage is good on that. It's awakened, soars in gold and flames and can hit many times. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Get melted, nerds. My sword is amazing. Forget t the tentacle life. It's all about the sword life. Um... Increase damage in the glow sticks. Sure. Maybe we get the skill. If she's not taking damage for 10 seconds, next damage is... Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, a little, a little protection there. Got some guys coming in here. Oh, what's that? What's, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Probably not a whole lot. Just get easily destroyed and handled. Like, you're, you're, you're nothing. You're nothing to me. I'm not sure how much usefulness the, the trailblazer there is. The fire behind me. I feel like the real champion here is my sword and the fire might not be that great. I don't know. More damage of the thing around me, see the spider cooking, the, you know, garlic armor equivalent is probably pretty useful to you know, damage over time to them. Need to stop walking to them. I think the sound, I think that it goes beer is good because it lets you know when you've been hit. That's, I think it's useful. That's something that a lot of games are missing. I feel like if this had come out before Vampire Survivors, maybe this would have been like the viral hit. I don't know. It's hard to say with these things. More area on that could be good. Yes, more area of my... Spider cooking, yes, for the little AOE protectiveness. The damage to the ones behind us is fantastic, along with the fire. This seems like it could be a good run, could be a winning run. There are synergies in this, so once you have two things at level seven, you can like combine them at a golden anvil. I don't know how, I don't know which ones come out of which yet, um, because I don't know. I did see a couple in the video I watched, but I wasn't, I didn't memorize them. Uh, cost of enhancing is reduced by 20% animals appear more often. 
increased damage, increased weapon attack speed. Weapon attack speed, yes. Because it's really all about this sword, and this sword attacks faster. Uh, that's that's great for us. And that's great for us to do fast sword attackingness of all the protectiveness that we really and truly need. Um, damage to the glow stick. I don't even know the glow stick's doing much. Maybe the BL book for like, just like the circle of protection around us, right? In addition to my uh, spider cooking. Does that mean I'm like, I eat spider cooking and I'm emitting this like filthy aura of stenchiness that it hurts these people that are coming around us? I don't know. Not sure I fully understand the lore of what's going on in this game. Or I need to like curve my way out of here if I can. But always keep me moving to maintain my like bonus. You must maintain the bonus forever and for always. Was there an elite there? I didn't even realize. I didn't even know. Fire fast. I almost want to check that out, but uh, spider cooking. What's spider cooking though? But more spider cooking. But more nasty, stinky spiders to eat. I'm gonna try it. I need to like face it the right way. Yeah, yeah. I want to farm these guys for goods. Farm them for the goodies, and they're gone. I need to get this special delivery for your boy. Uh, level up first. Hmm, consumable. Wait, I can just wait, I can just buy a hamburger to heal. That seems kind of a waste of a thing. I guess there's more. There's so there's weapons, there's items, there's setups. So there's five things. So there's stats, there's skills, there's items, there's weapons, and there's uh, consumables. Interesting. I think it's probably a waste though right now because I don't need it. That's like an emergency thing. Weapon attack speed. Um, yes. And a little hollow live delivery or hollow zone delivery sounds good. We'll get. What is, if you watch VTubers, what's the appeal? What, what makes you watch VTubers? I will take a uh, damage increase on the glow stick. That seems fine. Damage is always good. Um, more damage on the spider cooking. Yes, please. More protectiveness around me is always good. I need to make sure to grab some of these coins as I can because coins are good. We like that sweet, sweet meta currency for upgrades. I need like a thousand to have a chance of getting a new character and or just, you know, get upgrades so I can spend a couple hundred for some movement speed and damage upgrades would be good too. It'd be neat and would be fun. Ooh, a little coin there. I will take that in my life. Thank you. Appreciate it. Pleasure doing business with you. All kinds of goodies here. We have mm, healing, small knockback on hit. Sure. No, now we got uh, two level seven. Why did the sword... Oh, I guess you get to level seven then you awaken it? I don't know. I feel like the other one I got to level six and I awakened it and the sword... Why is the sword like red awakened, but the spider cooking is not at level seven? I'm confused. Is so you get to level seven, it does it vary per item? So I feel like in the last run, my tentacles got to level six, and then at level seven they got upgraded. Maybe it's like your main weapon upgrades to level seven, but the other ones, you, other ones you have to get to level seven and then evolve or upgrade. Or I don't fully understand what's going on here. I don't fully understand what's happening in this game. We're just gonna figure it out as we go. Um, increase hit limit by ten. Throw an additional glow stick. Yes. Glow sticks activates. We're taking some damage here on the skelly boys. The shield wielding skelly dudes are really forcing me to, you know, play dice here. This, oh, that's that that was a problem. Oh, that's rough. That's not fair. There was debris. There was like map clutter in the way that forced me to take damage here that I wouldn't have otherwise taken. This looks looks like he's having trouble getting past it though, so it can both hurt and help, I guess. I need to go back and. Yeah, they're all the things I missed. I could, ooh, that, that, I just can't pass that up. That's just sweet, sweet snackies right there. S snackies by mean a bunch of stuff. I need you to walk into my flame there. I guess my stuff's knocking back pretty good. Give me that. Well, first, let's get this. Um, I could do lava or more glow stick power. Give me this. Give me this sweet, sweet delivery. Give me the goodness. Give me the upgrades. Give me what we desire. Uh, another glow stick. Fantastic. Now we have three glow sticks going that can hit, I think, 20 times each. Oh, look at them go. Look at them go. The axe did not blow my mind. Maybe it's good to level up. I, could, I feel like more shield would not be terrible, but damage is all, any like you just gotta keep the damage flowing and going. Well, I'm not sure that uh, the axe is gonna like blow my mind here. Maybe I'm just gonna upgrade it. Right? There's so much going on the screen; it's kind of hard to tell. I think I hit like 30 or something on those guys. It's all right. It's it's extra damage. And extra damage is good. And then keep your damage up. It looks like the Taka who's a what's it's they go from happy to mad as time goes by. I don't know how I feel about that. I like you being happy boys. I liked you being happy creatures. Yeah, we got some coins down here. We can't be missing out on all this. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at all this we left down here. Um, next, next two hits take this half. That's not terrible, honestly. Cost enhancing is reduced. Um, increase crit. Attack power by eight. Yes, everything gets stronger. Everything gets stronger. The fight goes on longer. 
and take them out without a doubt. Although I finally started to rhyme. I've been recording for a few hours and, well, you know, your brains. Oh, look at this happy dude. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, he shoots a. He sh he's got a little laser beam. Oh, do you only shoot left or right, though? Oh, that's. Oh, that'd be tragic if all he had to do to counter you was to walk slowly downwards. Oh. Oh, wait, what's happening now? Oh, God. Oh god, oh god, okay. The trees here are not helping. Oh, did I beat him? Oh, I beat him. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Ooh, look at these yellow ones, different colors now. Um, Another book on the BL book, sure. Hollow Zone Delivery. Give us the goodies. What we get here? What are you offering? Um, We get a uh, glow stick. Now, okay, damage up by 33%. We take it. Glow sticks, hopefully, are doing good things for us. I, it's. With these games, it's, it's kind of hard to tell what's doing the, the good value unless they have, like, the stats at the end that tell you how much damage they do. Movement speed up might. So far, I feel like the movement speed's doing just fine. Damage up on BL book and increased duration. Yes. Yes. I need to get some snackies. Need some hamburgies. More health, not be terrible. More shieldy stuff. Need to get my heelys on. Who wants to drop a burger for your boy? Are you the burger boy? Are there are these guys hit point scaling as time goes on, or just getting stronger and stronger enemies? I'm not sure. I just feel like uh, well, some of these guys take multiple hits, and I'm a super strong boy. These glow sticks are just going crazy, man. Just, just whipping out there and flying around. <gasps> Bergy? I want that Bergy, but there's a lot of you dudes. Oh, I think I stopped moving for a second. That's bad. You, now we got to build up our damage thing from being a dancer all over again. I see some mice, and they look... That's a weird coloration, but that's fine. Gotta remember, I can't stop moving, otherwise I, like, lose my dancer bonus. Even for a split second, I must have my hand constantly on the keyboard. Constantly with the moving. You make sure to pick up as many as upgrady things here as I can. Need to keep getting my level going. We're at level 30. It's not bad, but I would like to have more. How about more? Okay. Hit points looking good. Um, headphones, shield. What about a bomb? What about the hollow bomb? Oh, you guys are really just coming in. Oh, that wasn't so bad at all. Yeah, walk through my fire nerds. Get some. I guess the fire sometimes does do some value for us. Kind of hit and miss. But we're doing great. There we go. I'm just dropping little bombs everywhere. Um, glow stick, throw an, throw an additional glow stick, max, so level 7 is max, okay, so, I guess maybe it's like your starting weapon when it gets to level 7, has a little, turns red in the top left there, um, the other ones just get to level 7, they don't, or maybe you have to awaken, awaken things, I don't, I don't fully understand, or maybe like your weapon, you can awaken at level 7, and other weapons that you like, grab have to, uh, ooh, little clocks here, you have to, uh, combine, maybe, is the thing, is the meta, who knows. I really hope this game uh, has multiple levels, because having multiple levels is good. Maybe that's a thing to do eventually. I'm curious to see if this game is like, people enjoy watching or not, and there's so many Vampire Survivor games coming out, I'm curious to see which ones like, do well, which ones go by the wayside. What does it take to get going? Is, it, is the popularity of VTubers going to be enough to get this game going? I don't know. Haste up, weapon attack speed might be nice, but... Uh, BL book, another book going here. Maybe that'll, uh, more book power. They're, they're, we're getting some tanky enemies here, which makes sense. We're getting farther than the run. Things should be getting more challenging. It's how these things usually go. Excuse me, my friends. I need all your sweet goodies. Got the monsters coming in, the, the boys, the crew. Oh, chill. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, listen, take it easy. I just want to try to not die. I gotta keep dancing. Gotta keep dancing. More shield, but not be a horrible life decision for us. The most terrible life plan or play we could ever have. Some pickup rage, something nice. I need some like, oh, hello there, boss clock, clock boss. I need some more upgrades that give. Uh, I need some like drops, some items that like you know you pick up a thing and it picks up everything on the ground. An anvil, first one to run, I think. Um, more book damage, anvil. All right. Um, if I do this, it, it costs fifty. I'm gonna say no. I don't want to spend money. Um, you again cost fifty. I want the free ones. What can I do for free? The ones that aren't fully maxed that I can do for free. So I can do, I can do a book. Once it's level seven, you gotta pay money. Prior to level seven, it's just like an upgrade. I want to. Yeah, I'm I'm more concerned with like doing the the meta upgrades in between that I am with uh, spending my coins here. I want to save my coins for unlocking new characters and upgrading stuff in the in the main menu, right? Get those perma upgrades as opposed to spending money for an upgrade that only persists within this one run. Yes, drop all the bombs, the fire, are the mice like running towards me and then like running away, a little health there, it's good. Get you guys to chill, slowly working on these things, doing alright, making some distance, making some speed. Listen fellas, need you to have a little conversation about what it means to be the number one VTuber in the world. Should I become a VTuber chat? Not chat, but uh, 
comment section, <laughs> viewer, dear viewer. I, <laughs> I haven't even, I haven't even streamed in like weeks. I'm still saying chat. I'll stream on this channel. Not that I want to do. Not that often. I need this pickup down there. Uh, more damage on the BL book. Take that. Is that another level up? Holy cow. Um, what do we want here? The axe does not blow my mind. Um, maybe just haven't leveled it. Axe, go crazy. Delivery, special delivery. Can I like, press E to click for that faster? I can. Uh, explosion size for the hollow bomb we take. And we, uh, oh, look at these skelly dudes with the bats. They love the skeletons. Like, I love great animation here with, like, the skeletons having, like, different outfits and they've got bats. And I'm honestly genuinely impressed. Like, this is, like, this is just a f neat, fun little game. Like, even, even if you, even if they didn't use the gimmick of, like, VTubers trying to, like, pull in, you know, interest from, you know, the VTuber fans. I stop moving. No. It's, it's still, um, just like a neat, fun game on itself, but maybe by, like, doing the whole, oh, but VTubers, they'll, like, have, like, larger potential, you know, they'll, they'll pull in more people's interest, because it's like, you know, it's like marketing, you know, success as, uh, you know, content creator, whether it be games or whatever really comes down to you know marketing's a huge part of it um look at among us among us massively popular game for the first like couple years it was out it wasn't that known or popular i'm not picking up anything they're dropping because we're not able to like move back up into them i need to like circle my way around here um we're not doing great on our health here it's not we're kind of struggling falling off the dps front some food there will help nicely there we go that's good and force them to walk back to my bombs and stuff. Um, let's increase the uh, hollow bomb damage. I need to like go back and forth so I get more value from the fire and the bombies. Take out those big elites and whatever. And We're definitely falling off on the DPS front. I need to like get the golden anvil and combine some stuff. So what I, what I need, I don't know how what the frequency of them dropping is. How we make that happen. All I know is we need to keep on moving. Keep on dancing. Keep my damage up. Keep my damage good. Yeah, it's going to be only sweet, sweet green ones, and eventually we'll go back for things with us. we got new mobs coming in. It's usually a sign that things are about to be harder. I think green are worth more. we go this way. Um, crit chance, uh, crit shield. Um, hmm. Maybe uh, a little more shield, I guess. That's probably going to help us out a lot. Got some, man, there's just like, i got stuff all over the board. How do I go pick them all up? This makes me want to play Nomad Survivors again. It's like, the problem is, like, there's so many uh, of these games I want to play, and, like, there's only so many hours in the day, and, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, there's just, like, it, the, the games, like, the roguelike games, ooh, hello, that was a red one, nice. Um, <laughs> enhancing's cheaper, more shield, more shield. Give me this, give me goods, click through it. Uh, more axe, that means more damage, that's good. Another thing, fantastic, no delivery, click through it, it takes forever. Uh, throw two bombs, nice. All right, all the clocks, though. Can I get past the clocks? Can I get past the clocks? We're we're struggling. We're in a genuine pickle here. I think we're about to die. I, I don't know what to do. We're very much surrounded, and we're dead. That's fine. It was a good run. Um, I think we go... I think we're going to spend some more coins here, I think. That's what we're going to do. Does it tell me my stat... My damage stat? No, I wish it told us damage stats. Characters like me, mini. Uh, ooh, unlocked a new thing. Fan beam. Shoot a powerful laser beam from the microphone. Horizontal only. Cool, new weapon. Uh, let's go to the shop here. Um, armory? Armory just tells us what this stuff is. We're gonna, not worry about that. Upgrades. Probably, we can unlock a new character, but we haven't played all the characters we have, so let's just get out some upgrades. What's this? Special attack. Unlocks a special attack for all characters. Press a sec. Oh, we need that for sure. Yep. Need the, the special attack. We don't want to refund. What's this? Uh, ult ultimate challenge. Hit point set to one. Gain mass bonus score the longer you survive in endless mode. Nah. Um... Grants the use of re-roll and leveling up. Very expensive, but it'd be, be good. Can't, just can't afford it. Increased amount of haul coins gained by 20% per level. That's always... Like, you always want to get these coin-boosting ones right away. Um, increase the rate that food is dropped. Like, speed gains. Uh, cooldown time. Uh, health. Damage. Movement speed. Crits. Base pickup range. Attack speed. Slowly heals. One hit point every five seconds. I mean, base healing is probably pretty good, right? And... Got, you spent 300 something more damage seems good and you know what because it's the first time playing the game I'm going in again I'm going in again because we got time for one more run make a long video who cares if it's not popular it'll be the only video I do right so 
yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Hopefully it's popular. Uh, so we can do more videos. Side swing, swings in a half circle arc in front. Seems pretty good. Special, the Reaper. Temporarily buffs self to increase side damage tripled. Increase damage while crits by triple for 15 seconds. So 15 seconds super side. That's what your special is, okay? We'll try it. Did I have a special charging before? Uh, in, I didn't remember or notice it. I forgot the specials were a thing until I grabbed the upgrade there. You'll see in the in the left, there's uh, below my character's picture, there's a size is pretty good. Seems functionally similar to the sword. Um, there's a little icon there. It seems to be slowly going up over time. I'm not sure. So you don't... Do I, does it go up faster when I kill enemies, or just kind of like goes up a flat rate? I don't know. Um, sake, uh, hollow bomb, pump being hit, increase crit, food, uh, increase crit if you don't get hit. Um, yeah. Let's uh, increase our crit rate by not getting hit and just do a, cr a crazy crit build, because her crit gets tripled when she does a special, so the stronger your crit, you know, the more damage you do during your special, right? Yeah. It's probably good to save the special for like the elites or whatever. Doing fantastic here. I don't. Ha I'm not doing the dance or things, so I don't have to like constantly, spastically move around. So this is a skill unique to her. Targets within 100 pixels take 20% extra damage. Um, sure. I'm not sure how. Oh, it shows you what the range is. So that's the range of extra damage. Okay. It's nice that it shows you how far away 100 pixels is. This is a little shield icon. I guess that's showing that they get extra damage. Okay, that's kind of cool. Or I don't know. I guess that, that, yeah, the shield must be like that. They're within range to get like extra damage, I guess. I don't know. Sure. You guys to chill and just keep working these guys. I feel like we're doing pretty good damage here. I guess the yellows when it's a crit. Crit chance damage. Um. Oh. Let's do, just do damage. Keep my damage healthy. I want to make sure we're one shotting these guys. I feel like we're doing pretty well. We're kind of taking these. These skeletons are pretty tank in our first run, I recall, so. In fact, they're taking out a couple swipes is pretty good. Let's take a few swipes. I need to improve my her like attack rate. Uh, my special's ready, but I'll save it for like an elite or something. 30% um, extra damage seems pretty good. Yes. These guys. I think did that increase the range of it too? Might have. Feels like it. I want you guys to carve your way through these if I can. Or not. Or not. I think you need. I don't think you need to destroy them all. Just kind of kind of got to stay in the middle there. Not so tough. Not so bad. I guess uh, at the before the two minute mark, they shouldn't be too tough or bad, right? I want an elite to come so I can test my special. Not sure you need to save it for the elite, but I am. That's what I'm doing. Um, what's this? Death. Ooh, that's her skill. Interesting. When defeating a target with scythe, swing, or death, there's a chance to create an explosion. Um, chance to KO. Okay, yeah, let's get that. Focus on her, her scythe and her, her unique skills and whatnot, and we'll make it work. Gotta make sure to not take damage. If I take damage, my chance for going getting crits goes down. So, damage is bad. Not getting damage good. Alright, let's try to use our... Uh, I need to use my special here. Um, increase attack area. All right, let's let's get some distance first. And then press space. I got it bound to... Oh, yeah, we're doing great things. So I need to do... We have, like... It's more effective, but I still need to... For special, is probably one of the trickier ones to use, I think. It's, like, a uh, better chance of damage. Or, like, it seems to be doing pretty good things here, right? Not sure how you tell when the cooldown of the special is worn out, but probably not the most amazing special. So kind of awkward to like use it. Right when you're moving forward, take that for more damage on the scythe. The special didn't blow my mind, honestly. Like the animation for it was nice, but I didn't feel like I melted the boss of the special. Maybe I did, I don't know. Um, I feel like it's kind of tricky to use because you have to like aim back to hit him with it. Um, I have not used this plug type, whatever that word is. Fires a fast piercing tail at a random target. Sure. Um, I'll try the fan beam. So it just kind of... So it's just like this weird tail looking thing that just shoots randomly. Okay. Just... Oh, what I... Oh, I got hit. There goes my crits for a while then. What just happened? Oh, that was a chain reaction of like the death skill with bombs. I just killed a bunch of them all at once. Nice. Um, when defeating a target the side swing, there's a chance to create an explosion. For more to, so that's actually like... That's like... Oh, that's really strong. Oh, it might be overpowered. It might be OP. Mm, attack power damage um, for each target defeated. Workaholic. For each target defeated, increase attack by 3% for 5 seconds up to 60%. Refreshes duration each target hits. I don't, I don't know. What's, what, is that, what does that mean? For every time I kill something, my attack goes up 3% for 5 seconds. Uh, up to 60%. Refreshes duration each target defeats. So if I keep constantly killing things, 
my damage goes up. That seems good. It's a skill unique to her, I think. So as long as I'm constantly killing things, I, uh, like, as long as something dies every five seconds, I get, like, a massive damage buff. So I just need to be constantly killing. This character seems like they might be overpowered. Um, because I feel like we're just, like, just absolutely bodying everything here. What seems to be going on. We're just, like, just merc- like, the, the death skill in, in particular seems just fantastic. Just great. So we need to be, like, we need to be not taking damage and constantly hitting things. Um... Targets within an even bigger range, extra 25 pixels, take more damage. Yes, and more chance of critting them. That's, that seems fantastic. Anvil, we'll take you. And a free upgrade on the side swing to attack more frequently. I'm all about it. Yes, please. Get that side going crazy. We're really investing deeply into the side and the skills, and it seems to be working out fantastically for us. Just like, we're just murking these guys. Just absolutely bodying them like it's nobody's business. I keep that damage up. We don't have to keep constantly moving. We don't have the dancer, but we do need to be constantly slaying. We must be constantly slaying our enemies to keep our damage bonus up. And we need to not get hit. Keep that crit going. If you have a shield and you get hit, does that count as getting hit? Probably, right? Uh, attack area death. When targeting it, there's a 30% chance to create a bigger explosion. Yes. Yes, death is like the chain explosion effect. is actually extremely good. All right, we're going to use our skill here, or press space, and that's going to make us do... It makes us do triple damage. Yeah, I need to not get hit by this little guy there. It's yes. Oh, okay. Now, not there. I felt it. There, I felt how strong that was. Um, workaholic. What's his nightly milk? Increase attack range of area type weapons by ten percent. That's not bad. Um, reach target defeated. Increase attack by four percent for five seconds, up to eighty percent. Increase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More workaholic. Yes. Uh, delivery. What we get? Um, another level on scythe for increased attack area by three percent. That seems huge. I think the special. My, I think my special for triple my special for triple damage is still going on a little bit. These chickens really like to go in on you. Right, I think the special triple damage wore off. Her special just makes it so her crits and regular attacks just do way more damage. So it's still all side related, but it's seems pretty good actually. After I melted that boss, seems pretty strong. I feel like we got a, a heck of a build here. I think this character might be overpowered, or we've just discovered the secret overpowered build. Um Reach target increase attack by 5%, up to 100%, so double damage. Yeah, let's just keep, and and, S, and speed by 2% to 40%. We might move really, we're gonna, we're gonna be schmoving now. Oh, look how, like immediately we, we're going fast. We must have already had a bunch of stacks of that going. I think we might be going too fast. Oh, just zooming. Dude, this game is actually like pretty good. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy watching this so I can play it more and make more videos on it. Cause this is pretty good. Not gonna lie. I feel like it's nice. Lava Bucket, Hamburger, Scythe Swing Awaken, increases damage by 40%, has a chance to instant KO. Fantastic. Oh my god, just get bodied. Just get murked. Absolutely murking it. Oh, chill, there we go. It's very important we don't take damage, though, for, I mean, one, just to survive, but also, we uh, we took damage there, I think, so we're gonna get, like, a little, now we gotta build up our crit bonus all over again, right? Max hit points, movement speed, we, don't, we do not need to be faster. Shield, maybe okay. Um... Uh, powerful laser. Let's get the shield because maybe who knows? Maybe like it's it goes off of your hit point bar, not your shield bar. As far as like losing your bonus, I don't know. Somebody will have to tell me in the comments down below. Pickup range, weapon attack speed might be good. Shield. Um, when targets defeated, there's a chance to heal. Um, I think we're fine on healing, right? Weapon attack speed. So the scythe is more scythier. We've invested very deeply in scythe. I need to not run into enemies mindlessly. I need to actually pay attention to what's on my screen. I was looking at some at the HUD and got hit there, which is not great. So now we got to build up our whatever crit bonus all over again, but not sure the crit bonus is really mattering that much. We're doing fine without it. Um, let's get... Do we want anvils? Do we want to do this? No, we go for more damage on this weird little thing that's doing probably not that much for us. It's really all about the scythe, but maybe if we max the thing out, it gets a lot better. Who knows? All I know is this this her her skill with the, the death skill that makes like the chain reaction is huge. Very strong. Mm, I think we go for additional, whatever that is, little tail thing. Aso, whatever. I don't like saying words. I don't know what they are, what they mean, because sometimes you can say, mispronounce things and say a swear word differently. Oh, we got a mini boss here, so we press uh, space, and I was at a uh, Extra damage again. Treat you need to get away from it for you, and then just do this. A little bit more of that. How's that? Oh, how's that damage tasting for you? Pretty great. I guess like there we go. Got them done. Like they're nothing. Pickup range, attack power. Um, yeah, let's get more attack power. Seems pretty good. Um, and we got here 
more damage on the, the, the tail thing, that's fine. That seems good. Have those help out for whatever stray guys we miss. But realistically, I think the scythe is our winning champion here that we know and love and appreciate. And just, so just, we're, just, we're just over here being monsters. We're just incredible. Um, pick up range, axe. The axe is not blowing my mind. Let's get the, the, the whatever the heck this thing is. The, the tail thingy. Hope it's not something inappropriate. Um, might be. Who knows? Hopefully it's not. I try to keep my content fairly family friendly, so. I mean, within reason. Um, let's keep taking these things out here. The whole reason for keeping the content fairly family friendly, don't swear and all that, is mostly because YouTube loves to demonetize anything that isn't, like, family friendly, so that's basically the reason. But I also don't think there's too many kids watching me, so I don't worry about it too much. I just, I just don't want to get demonetized, basically. Um, let's just get this, this thing, yeah, knock back on this, whatever the heck you call this thing. Oh, then, like, the it's just, they're just doing great things for us here. The scythe, it's amazing. Just farming these guys for sweet, sweet goodies. Extra XP from the little circle of stationary salamanders around us. The salamander group. I think I'm falling behind on damage a little bit. Need to scale my damage a bit better. Would be probably nice and desirable. Maybe just those guys who are like designed to be tough and tanky around us. Attack power. A flat attack power upgrade is probably pretty good. Just flat 8% upgrade. All my damage. Need to keep that scythe scaling. It's kind of what I've invested my entire life and, you know, self-worth and meaning into, I suppose. I don't know. We're just going crazy and attacking things, really. Chill. Oh, we got... I think we got hurt a little bit there. It's not good. It means we lose some crit damage, right? It's tragic. My crit chance goes down. I don't want that. I need all these goodies. I need some items, though. The game needs items where you can, like, pick up an item off the ground and it picks up all the things. Pick up range, movement speed. I mean, uh... I'm not, I don't mean it's to be, like, an actual, like, item that appears on the ground, like, the way the burgers do. I mean, I guess the axe, I want, like, I don't really want the axe, I just want more damaging things. Uh, Anvil, yes. Um, I don't want to spend any money on these things, so we have to, like, this is spent, no, okay, fire's an additional thing, yeah, we'll max that out and cost zero. I don't want to spend the coins, because if I spend the coins there, all right, time to make some distance and get prepared to press E, and we'll, or space, rather, and we'll come in with the big boy damage, and yeah, what now? What now? Well, now, big tough guy. Got oh, I'm getting stuck on crap. Not fair. And just handled. Just handled. Remember how hard that guy was last time? Lava bucket? Um, let's try the fan beam. Get that fan beam up in here, huh? A little horizontal clearing. We can be left and right. Wait, wait, two? Was there two bosses here? Did you drop two? Oh, no, that was a level up. I didn't pick this up. Uh, Saki level two. I don't even remember taking Saki. Oh, that's right. That's the thing. That's like the not taking damage thing. More crit rate chance. Yes, just don't take damage. And we have fantastic crit rate chance. Look at all that food on the ground. We're doing great. We're doing great, feeling great. We have discovered the strong character. We have discovered the strong build. Moon speed, crit chance, drop lava. More crit chance. Let's get the lava. Get another weapon up in here. Yeah, throw some lava on the ground. Maybe they'll help out. We need to keep our damage scaling. This is where we usually die. It's these guys. I need to panic and try to not get wrecked by these dudes. Oh, don't hurt me. I'll lose my crit. Yeah, these guys. Are, uh, yeah, just panic run. Maybe movement speed would be useful for dealing with these guys. Although we get we did all right there without any movement speed buffs, so maybe it is doable. It's gotta be good. They do decay it over time. Maybe you're not supposed to like run out through them. You're supposed to like chill in the middle. I don't know. I don't know. Running out worked out fine there. Well, you guys need to vibe. We got hurt. Toxic. How dare you attack me? It's toxic. More coins. I was actually thinking today about making a channel called <laughs> Toxic CG and just like play games that make me frustrated. Lava area. Spider cooking. Get more more lava. I haven't messed with the lava much. I don't think I want to. I've already, I've already got too many channels. I've got four channels and two of them I hardly ever upload to. Um, just because, yeah, you know, it's... It's, it's, it's a lot. To, ow, stop hurting me. It's a lot to do. Um, I wish I could just put everything on one channel. It'd be much easier, more convenient, but unfortunately that's just not the way the algorithm works. Algorithm works. There's a reason Mr. Beast has... Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, there is an item unless you pick up everything. Nice! Um, size of the fan beam, uh, sure, there we go, and how about, uh, more lava buckets, oh, that's so much levels, they do drop these things, it's not very commonly, I guess, uh, fan beam, more, yep, yep, level that more, there we go, now we're, now we're talking, we should probably prefer, preferentially prefer moving left and right, because that's, uh, the fan beam goes left and right, there we go, Apparently, apparently there's supposed to be some kind of way you can lock which direction your beams are going so you can like fire one way and move the other. I don't know how to do it. 
Um, the guy whose video I watched said you could do it, but he didn't say how you do it, so I don't know how. When I went to the key, the men, like the options menu, oh hey, what's up, cat dude? There's only like, there weren't that many things you could keybind, so I don't know how you used to talk about how you do that. Uh, movement speed, maybe it's like the mouse. Movement speed, uh, cr the, the crit, um, bucket damage, yes, more lava. Hey, what's up, nerd? You can't actually, uh, oh, I should use my, uh, my thing here and get big hits on you. Best I can. Here we go. Oh, watch out for these guys. Don't get hurt here. And just bodied. Just bodied. Give me the goods. Three! Oh, ho, ho! I didn't know you could get three. Let's go, dude! Oh, my dancing boxes. Let's go. Uh, got an elite lava pocket. We take it. We got a body pillow for more shield. That's good. And we get more damage on the fan beam. Fantastic. You love to see it. All right, we're just doing great here. Need to try not to take damage. There's my crit stuff, huh? Um, hmm. Glow stick? I guess we get the glow stick going, I suppose. Sure. We're doing great. We're already level 32. It's a fantastic run. Good things are going to happen here. Not sure how useful the lava bucket is. You probably need to, like, to get optimal lava bucket value, you probably need to, like, chill near it, right? And just kind of, like, stay in the general area of it. And that way, that means we'll walk through it. Instead of, like, panic walking around the entire map. Not that I'm panic walking. I'm, like, just chilling and harvesting their goodies. That's what I'm doing. I'm just getting all these sweet, sweet goods. I'm doing great. Doing fine. Wish I could keep scaling my side. That, but that bad boy is maxed. It's maxed out. Range, attack, cooldown, axe, uh, the fan beam. Bruce, I'm not even like paying attention to the fan beam. So the fan beam just shoots in forward where you're going. Um, I'm sure it all helps. Um, every little bit adds up. It's good to carve a path forward. I wish the fan beam was a bit like wider. It's this tiny, narrow little beam. I'm not sure the fan beam is that great. Every time you play one of these games, you gotta like learn what's the meta, is you know what weapons are strong, what which is overpowered, which is underpowered, and then you make a video on what's overpowered because that's what get clicks. Nobody wants to watch the you struggle with underpowered weapons. They want to see you use the overpowered weapons. That's or well, that's what that's what they want to click on. They, they want to click on the OP stuff. Maybe they'll watch the underpowered stuff. But they want to see the overpowered stuff. They want to see the God Run, the overpowered build. That's what they want. The power trip. Ah, oh, there we go, beam size. That's what I'm talking about. I was just saying, need a larger beam. Even that's still not very large. Like, I want that to be a little bigger. Maybe next, maybe we'll get a level 7 with another upgrade, or maybe, like, the synergy is huge. I've yet to see the synergy. I want to get a synergy. Oh, I need a golden anvil to get a synergy. Maybe the golden anvil doesn't appear until you actually have things that you can do a synergy with. That would make a lot of sense, actually. Need more of those, like, items that drop and give us, uh, pick up all the little things on the screen. Here come the clocks. Here come the clocks. Oh, lava buckets. I don't think the lava buckets are doing that great for us, but we'll, we'll get them. More lava buckets for the boys. Maybe they're helping up here and there. We're just not really fully aware of it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. In the goodies. Having a good old time. I could have probably split this into multiple videos, but eh, whatever. Let's do one long one. It's fine. Just in case this doesn't get that many views, so I'll just have one long video, right? But if it does get lots of views, then probably we better do multiple videos. Whatever. Who cares? We're, just, we're, just gonna, we're having a good time, having fun. One nice long video for the true fans. For the true roguelike Vampire Survivor fans. Vampire Survivor fans. Vampire Survivors fans. Like Doc slash VTuber fans? I don't know. I don't really know how many VTuber uh, fans I have on the channel. Probably not many, huh? Because I don't really make VTuber content. Oh my god, look at that wall of them down below me. Oh my god. Oh, it's just brutal harassment. It's getting tough. It's getting tough. We're still in this. Still trying to level. I feel like the levels have really slowing down. Kind of how it goes. I feel like we're only dropping blues. Why aren't we dropping greens? But the greens are worth more, right? Max hit points, axe, uh, four lava buckets and more lava size. Sure. Not sure how good the lava is, but hopefully it's fine. I feel like half the time it's... Maybe, maybe I need to like stay near. Oh, it's, it's time for... It's crit time, baby. It's crit time. Let's go. Big damage for the boys. Big damage for the boys. And keep on... Smooshing them down. What are you gonna do? Oh, just get body. That's what. Like you're nothing. Absolutely nothing. An axe upgrade. We'll take it. It's something. Um, additional beam behind. That's more like it. Beams on both sides. I feel like it's not that great of a weapon just because even at max level doesn't fire that frequently. And it, it's it's such a narrow path. It just it just seems just the, the maybe that might be one of, like the underpowered weapons because like the, the beam width is just not there. It's just. You know, it, it feel like it doesn't fire that often. It doesn't move with me, the fan beam there, and it doesn't uh, hit um, 
it doesn't hit enough enemies at a time to be that useful. Um, get the axe. Maybe the axe will... Maybe the axe gets, like, cracked when we max out. I'm not sure how good the lava is. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine if I actually, like, stay more near it. I feel like the... I think if you're looking for, like, a standstill in one area build, lava's probably the way to go. If you're looking to move around a bunch, not the lava. Not the baby. Not the mama. Get all the goodies here. Oh, there we go. Got the bat boys coming in. Skelly bat boys. Remember when we got to this point last time, we were... <gasps> Golden anvil! Give! The, yes, the collab. They call this synergy, combining you guys, a collab. Uh, what do we want to combine? Um, what would... What, oh, the two that are like going bloop bloop are probably the ones that can, can be combined. I'm going to combine you and you, and we will collab. Okay. Uh, collaboration. Dragon fire. A collaboration of fan beam and plug-in type, whatever that word is. The power of a once legendary dragon, the OG. Okay. It's very good. Oh my god, it's amazing! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is this? What is this nonsense? Oh my god! It's a, it's astounding. It's actually cracked. Increased damage on the axe? Sure. But like, who cares about axe when I literally breathe dragon fire? I am the amazing- It just melts them. As it should, it's dragon fire. Just melting them, just carving a path through like they're nothing. It's exactly what we needed. Oh my god, I, chill! Oh, hurts. Oh my god, we need we need more shield or armor, because we almost got bodied there. Oh, give me this. Um, we can improve... I'm Honestly, I'm gonna improve my shield. We need that. Yes, more more shield, because, uh, like, we almost just died there, huh? I need some healies. Oh, <laughs> the fire's good. We are facing some pretty tough enemies, so it's necessary. Oh, get wrecked, dude! Just get knocked back forever. I need this. Um... I'm gonna- I'm just gonna take more shield, because, like, we're- we're super hurting. Have a- I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my thing here to do more scythe damage. Triple that scythe damage, and just body these nerds with big old triple damage hits. Like, oh, just get wrecked, boss. Give me something good. What we got here? Um, another axe. Remove hit limit and last a second longer. That's good. The axe will do more. Let's get that axe going again. Attack size even bigger on the axe. I'm sure it's doing- I don't know how much the axe is doing for us, I'm not really paying attention to it, but it's probably a lot, right? Or something. Who knows? Uh, yes, 35. Yeah, more shield. That's good. I just, just I don't want to play around with getting murked because I didn't. I got stingy in the shield. Um, max out the axe so has more damage. So hopefully the axe is doing great things for us. I can't tell how much it's hitting for. You'll have to tell me. It seems like it's doing all right. Just just spinning forever. Taking away the hit limit seems pretty good on it. Kind of neat that they coded in a hit limit. This game is like just remarkably well done for just a free game on itch.io. Like I'm very impressed. And you, you, you toss in, like, a couple more levels to play on, and you got a proper $3 game you can sell on Steam. We're just, we're just, we're, just, we're doing great things here. We're just doing astounding things here. I, this day, like, this game is dead, like, it's already at the point where it's worth spending, like, 3 bucks on Steam for it, for sure. Hmm, that seems to be the current price for Vampire Survivor style games, is 3 bucks is the meta. Because Vampire Survivor set the price point. Um, increased damage with a glow stick. Um... Sure. Let's try to get more weapons level 7 so we can get more, like, synergies, because the synergies seem cracked. Just, they just seem amazing. Oh! Now, can I... I can collab these two. So we're going to combine the Lava Bucket, Elite Lava Bucket, with the Psycho Axe. We'll collab, and together they make the Me Comet, a collaboration of Elite Lava and Psycho Axe, real business partners. All right, let's see how overpowered this is. All right, so... Oh! It's just... It's literally Comets! Flying to the ground and <laughs> making pools of lava. It seems amazing. I mean, it seems really darn good. Pretty good. Another anvil? I'll take it. We're getting super overpowered now. I'm glad we did this extra run. Um, I guess we'll get the glow stick going. Yes, I need another weapon. I need more weapons. I wonder if, like, all the weapons can combine with everything, or if it's just, like, like these two can only combine with these two, or kind of thing. I don't know. Gotta play the game more to find out. Um, need more weapons. Get the get the glow stick going. I need, I need more synergies. The synergies are cracked. Oh my god, they're just it's just amazing. It's just pools of lava, dragon breath. Is I don't even know what to do with myself. Oh my god, like the scythe isn't even involved anymore <laughs> for the most part. Maybe a little bit. Uh, we're just doing amazing things here. Just the thing that was so hard earlier on is just like just a laughing walk in the park. It's incredible. It's astounding. 
and we just go forever. Oh my god, oh my god, chill with this, chill with this. Glad I got some extra shield. I guess we didn't need it there, but like, we easily could have. Um, weapon, glow stick, I will throw an additional glow stick, seems great. More glow sticks, keeping things stronger and better and amazing and mighty. And I think it's all about the synergies. I think this is another one of these games where it's like, the synergies are it. This is so well made. They're a, they've got to eventually charge money for this, right? Or do they just like love VTubers that much that they made a fan game for them? They love Vampire Survivors. They, oh, they, this, yeah, they pick up all the goods on the ground. Yeah, I'll get some levels. Nice. Um, need a new weapon. Get the glow stick going here. More levels. Um, max out the glow stick. Fantastic. Now I need another weapon. Get that to level 7. Maybe we can get three synergies in one run, or is two going to be it? I'm not sure we got enough time left. Oh, we got a guy here. I need to get a little bit away here. Get some distance. Uh, press space. And then get you with, uh, oh, just, just, and just absolutely obliterated. Um, we will go, no weapons here. Weapons, attack speed, item movement speed. Um, I guess weapon attack speed. Give the delivery, special delivery for the boys. Uh, BL book, we take it. Ooh, so it can give you like a level one of, one of something you haven't grabbed yet. That seems fine. Surely we have to win this, right? There's no, like, how could we possibly lose this? Like, we're, we're, we're actually incredible. We're actually Ama an amazing specimen of a VTuber. Sometimes I've actually wondered if I should like do a, like get a little silly VTuber thing and put on the videos. Oh, another boss guy! But my oh, no, that wasn't a boss guy. That's just like a new unit. It looked like an elite or a boss. No, nope, there's that's just new mob. They're getting pretty healthy. Like as overpowered as we are, I feel like we are getting to the point where we're like, oof, man. Like they're getting they're getting in here. They're they're, they're getting in, they're getting they're getting the point. Where the, oh, anvil, like, we take and we um um. I don't want to spend any... I'm not even spending any coins. Imagine if you actually spend coins. BL book. We'll get you going. That's fine. Imagine if you actually spend coins to, like, upgrade these things, right? How crazy that would be? Or is it, like, no, not crazy worth it. We're doing fine without it. Um, let's get the uh, BL book going here. A little bit more of that, yeah. A few more books floating around us from time to time. Look at all these weird... What are these Medusa-looking things? I don't know. All I know is fire takes them down just fine. They are quite tanky. If I didn't have this, these two synergies... I think... I think with, if I didn't have both of the synergies, I'd be in trouble. Like, just one of each would not be enough. I need the two of them combined. I think you do need... It's one of these things where, without the synergies, you're just not going to win a run. Might be how this game works. Like, you need your synergies. You need them. They're necessary. Or if I can level up the Mii Comet. I should I should look at that when I level up. Maybe I can. I missed it. Oh, yeah, I bet you can You can level up Mii Comets and the synergies. You, you can love your synergies, but you have to... Oh my god, it's... Oh my god, it's, it's getting dicey. Uh, press, uh, uh, special. Special. Yep, yep. Need to be a, need to carve a path. It's getting... It's getting to the point where I... The, the two synergies might not be enough. Um... Spider cooking for protection around me. No, that's gonna make a big difference here. But like, they're getting... It's getting dicey. I had to use my special. Not sure there's an elite coming in, but it's the last minute and... Ooh, two synergy, and they were getting real close around us. They're getting real close around us there, huh? Oh, the clocks have so much hit points. Oh, there's like... These tough little mini bosses. Oh, please don't tell me I'm gonna lose right here at the end. No, no, no. There's like 20 seconds left. You can do this. Carver path, carver path, carver path, carver path, carver path, carver path, carver path. Oh man, I feel like even with two synergies, it's like it's it, it's got real dicey there. But we've carved a path to freedom, sort of. And I think we can make the make it the last 10 seconds. Just gotta keep moving ever gradually more forward. And I think we're gonna be good. I think we're gonna be fine. I think we're gonna do it. We're actually gonna do it. We're gonna live the dream. We lived the dream. And in comes the boss. Oh, wait, oh, oh my god! Trying to jump on us. That's right, I forgot. There's a. It's, it's not like 20 minutes and you win. It's 20 minutes and the final boss appears. Then you gotta beat the final boss. Uh, the final boss is absolutely adorable. Just a little cute thing like there. Just don't want to get stomped on there. And just keep our distance from that. And we'll let the fire deal with you. And I'll keep shooting these little... Where the heck these things are wearing the hats. And keep our distance here. And just kind of... Go back and shoot you a little bit there. Uh, a lot of damage there, and then we gotta carve our way to freedom. Oh, uh, the bears, I can do all the, not the bears. Chill, 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 chill. Get some distance, and we burn you up a little bit, and... Oh, it's taking a while. No, oh, it's taking a lot longer than I thought. I could press... Hey, we we did it! They, did they die in the air? We did it. We get a massive bonus of hollow coins for beating it, and, um... Yeah. Alright, smash that like button. If you like hollow, uh, hollow cure, and you want to see more of it on this channel, let's go.